casa no mar. <laughs> I didn't see that. I just did over a thousand repetitions. And I did that because I read a stupid article online that said if you just do loads of repetitions at light weight, it will boost your testosterone levels. And I also read that you should train outside in your garden because that will boost your testosterone levels. The point is, there's a lot of gibberish out there. So here's five ways you can actually do it. Simon Miller, the bald a-hole. And that's right, today we are going to be talking about testosterone, a hormone, look, a hormone that is so popular People are making supplements about it all the time. I haven't counted, but I'm going to guess there's around about 72,444 uh, different testosterone boosters that you can buy. And I bet every time you look on the back, it just says vitamin B6, vitamin E, vitamin C. And you're like, what? Vitamin A. It's just a bunch of vitamins you can buy anyway. However, there are certain ways, and yeah, I've kind of tricked you with the title here, but look, I'm trying to educate you as best as I can, even though I'm a stupid moron. But there are ways you can take care of your testosterone that doesn't come down to anything you have to do, nothing bad, nothing that's going to cost you 700 million pounds. So here are the five best testosterone boosters to get you jacked, apart from the stupid obvious ones you're already thinking about. That's not what this channel is about. Number five is get some sleep. That's right, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not telling you to go out there and find certain, you know, terrible things or good things. If you want to do them, it's completely up to you. But this is something you can do every single day. If you try and maintain, I understand how hard it is. I suck at sleeping, so I'm being a hypocrite. But if you try and get eight hours every night, your hormones are going to be balanced. And uh, especially if you're a man, just because your testosterone levels are naturally higher, they are going to be as primed as they're able to be, given whatever your natural levels are. But I tell you what happens to everybody. If you don't get enough sleep, it completely screws your hormones up. They go all over the place your cortisol levels which is your stress hormone goes through the roof and that pushes everything down so not only are you going to feel all oogly boogly because you are going to be stressed you'll be worrying about everything like the post won't come you're like where's the post where's the post which you don't want but it's also going to hamper you in the gym not at least because you're going to be tired and you're not going to be able to train as hard and you're not going to be able to train as well. So make sure you're getting some sleep. Rest and recovery is a great way to boost your testosterone levels. I know we're only talking about 1%, 2% here, but isn't that, isn't, you could do it right now. No matter what time of the day it is, you go have a nap, you go to bed if it's like 10, 11 p.m., even if it's first thing in the morning. If you don't think you've had enough sleep and you're privileged enough to be able to turn over and fall back into La La Land, Z-Town, you can and you're actually getting some gains. Number four is eat well. And the number one thing you don't want to do within your diet is yo-yo dieting. Yo-yo dieting has been proven in actual studies that scientists have done to once again screw up your hormones and who knows what's going to happen. Your estrogen will go up, your testosterone will go down, cortisol will be back, SHBG, who the hell knows? We'll get into all these one days if you so care. But also if you're young, and what people call clinically obese. We're not talking about the stupid BMI. We've done a video about that. I'm talking about, you know, you are actually unhealthy, overweight. There are other studies that show your testosterone levels could be cut in half. So you could gain 50% testosterone, 50 flipping percent. Someone said to me right now, Simon, you want 50% more hair? I'd do a backflip and then break my neck because I can't do a backflip. But you could actually boost your test levels by 50% just by essentially losing the excess fat. Now, it's not like a light switch. You can't just go bing and all of a sudden that fat drops off. But it's a pretty good motivator if you ask me. And isn't that much better than spending 90 pounds on a flipping test booster that, yes, we're going to talk about eventually. So right now, all we're talking about is going to bed and eating right. And now those two things are hard to do. I'm not saying they're easy, but they're right there. And more importantly, they're absolutely free. Number three is lift weights. Look at all these little things that you're hoping to be doing anyway that can actually boost your testosterone levels. It has been shown, especially when you do squats, that it will boost testosterone around your entire body because you're putting your body in an anabolic state. Now, you know, we are talking tiny, minimal percentages as always. But it's something, it, doesn't that feel good? Doesn't it feel good to know that I can tell you 100% that's going to happen rather than you read to one of those stupid, you know when sometimes you click an article on Google, right? You search, how do I do this? And you're reading all these scientific facts, like, wow, wow. And it always ends with, you should take this pill to achieve everything I've just said. Or you get other ones that are trying to sell you like Psalms and pro-hormones, which by the way, are just nine times out of 10 lies anyway. But it was telling you, oh, you don't want to take this. You don't want to take that bad, bad. And then it goes, but you do want to take ours. It's like coming in, it's like me inviting you around and saying, do you want a hug? Then I punch you in the face. You don't know whether to go left or right. But if you go to the gym and you lift nice and heavy and you push yourself, your testosterone levels will go up just a little bit. 
And if you're looking for that, why the hell wouldn't you do it? Number two is stop getting drunk. Now, actually, I think if you want to get drunk all the time and you're not having a problem with it and you're enjoying yourself, you should. For the people that care, no, I don't drink. True story. I got absolutely wasted when I was 18 years old. It was the, for my 18th birthday, so I'm legally allowed to drink. And I did that thing where you wake up and went, I'm never drinking again. But I meant it because I hated it. I really, really wasn't for me. And I wasn't actually enjoying the activity of drinking. And I've always been far better for it. Doesn't mean I judge you for drinking. I don't care as long as you're being healthy. However, if you are getting wasted all the time and you've also got one eye on your fitness, uh, you know, getting that much alcohol in your bloodstream not only pushes your testosterone levels down, but it actually pushes your estrogen levels up. Now, estrogen in 2020 does have a really bad rap in men. It's like, oh, you're going to get man boobs and acne. <laughs> you're going to be bloated and all of this, which is true. You know, it can happen, but you still need some estrogen in your system. But you do not want as much as potentially you could get by getting drunk all the time. And again, if you're looking for ways to save money and boost your testosterone and you know you like to partake in a little bit of a tipple as my great granddad barry used to say don't have a great granddad barry just made him up great granddad barry the ggb you can just you don't have to eliminate alcohol you can just reduce it a little bit and once again test levels going up number one the best way to boost your test is to stop taking flipping test boosters. Like, I swear, and look, I'm mean, again being a bit of a hypocrite because I did it when I first heard about it. I was like, wow, did they ever work? No. I bought one. I should really, this was years ago, so I can't remember. But I bought one, it cost me 90 pounds, and it lasted a month. And did it do anything? No. And years ago, after, so I did it years ago, then years later, but still years ago from where we are now, it's like back to the future stuff. Great Scott. I know, this is heavy. I, I went to look what was in it, and it was just a bunch of vitamins, like zinc. Can taking zinc boost your testosterone levels? Yes. Should you go and take it in a 90-pound supplement? No. You should go down to Holland and Barrett or your local grocers, whatever that may be, Walmart, and you should just buy some flipping zinc, and you should buy poclinate. It's not pronounced that way, but that absorbs better in the human bloodstream, should you so care. But do not think these things are all of a sudden going to turn you into the Hulk. They're not. They may make you feel a little bit better, I suppose, but they certainly are not worth the money. And if anything, let's say that they do kind of have an impact on you. Maybe you screw up your natural testosterone levels, which you do not want to do. I'm not advocating or going against anything. I think you should do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm just a bald owl. I don't get to judge you. I certainly would never think to do so. But I just think they're all a waste of time. And hey, if you want to prove me wrong and there's a, a product you know that you think can help people, put it in the put it in the comments below. And I would just really, you know, try and get everybody to read it and then go do a bunch of research on it. Read threads on Reddit, try and find videos like this, and then make your own mind up. Because it's not fair that I, you know, give you this order. I just think they're all absolute crap and they're expensive and they don't do nothing. So there you go. That is the five best ways I think you should boost your testosterone. And yes, you're now going steroids. If you want to do steroids, go and do steroids. I don't think you should do steroids. I think health and fitness, again, I always say this, health is a key word in that. And I just think you just it's difficult to walk that path is all I will say. But again, no judgment here. I respect you, whatever. Like the video, share the video, smash the subscribe button. Head over to, no, what do you do? I can't remember what we're doing here. So I've got Patreon, Instagram, uh, merchandise, other stuff. In the description, just look in the description. I've lost it. I'm recording this video really late. I clearly need sleep, the irony. Otherwise, watch another video. <laughs> it will be on screen now. What is wrong with me? See you soon.